Soon I will be in a first year of engineering and I don't even know my subjects. This is what you will think once you come to college. But by the end of this video you will be clear with your subjects which you need in first year of engineering. Let's start the video. So, in a year you will be having two semesters. Per semester you will be having some 6 or 7 subjects depending on your credits that how many credits you have taken. For the first semester you, most probably you will be having the freshers will be having 20 credits which means around 5 or 6 subjects. So this video will answer three questions. Firstly, the subjects that you need to study in your first in engineering. Secondly, the subjects which are difficult in first year. Third and last, do you re really need to buy books? So this video will focus on these three questions. So here are the subjects of false same or you can say same one subject. So basically first you'll be having calculus for engineering which is a math subject. Secondly, chemistry and environmental study which is a chemistry subject. third fundamentals of electronics and electrical engineering it is an easy subject where you will be having different concepts related to electrical uh, things electrical concepts okay fourthly you will be problem solving using python basically you will be having one programming language in your first year engineering next english which is also a basic subject you will be getting in your first sem then fundamentals of aptitude aptitude it is nothing but the logical and reasoning question which you will be getting in this subjects okay Now let's talk about winter sem the subjects that you need in winter sem so in winter sem the subjects you need are application of differential and difference equation again this is a subject which is purely a math subject secondly a modern physics it might happen once you come to college maybe your friends might have got in second sem chemistry and you might have got physics so it depends if someone got chemistry in first sem they'll get modern physics in second sem or vice versa third third subject is digital logic design which is also an easy subject it's you can say kind of part two of for subject subject that you studied in your first sem which is fundamentals of electronics and electrical engineering this is digital logic design next for first sem we we, we know we were having python from second sem you will be having object oriented programming which is nothing but java so from second sem college will start teaching you java from second sem java will continue till your fourth year again we have one english subject that is also a part two or you can say one advanced level of english subject which you have studied in first sem then again you have uh, arithmetic problem solving again which is also aptitude subject which is also an advanced level of the aptitude subject which you studied in first sem so yeah these are the subjects which you really need to which you will study in your first sem and second sem and also it depends on the number of credits in first sem you will be having 20 credits which college will allow to you and in second sem you will have the right to choose the subject there are some courses which are mandatory like uh, subjects like maths english aptitude uh, object oriented programming like in first year all the subjects you will be having some curriculum list where you will be having subjects which are mandatory you have to choose them no matter what but combining all you will be having 20 credits you can maximum take 27 credits so you can also take some other subject uh, i can i'll say just try to take more credits before so that at the end you don't have less you don't have much credit left so it's better if in second sem if you get the option if you get the slot also in some other subject try to take some foreign language or something so that you can complete in your second sem so yeah this is the scenario about subjects next second question was the subjects which are difficult So according to me subjects which are difficult for your first sem are this calculus of for engineers it's a math subject yes it is difficult it's difficult like you have to study from before otherwise in exams time you will suffer but in first sem the two subjects that i'll say they are dark little difficult are calculus for engineers and then ece and it depends on person to person they might feel some subject as difficult as other as easy in second sem i will say this my again the math subject application of differential and difference equations and modern physics also slight uh, difficult but it involve all the concepts of quantum physics so yeah you might find it interesting as well as little difficult third is digital logic design yep it is also a little uh, difficult so you have to study this subject from or about java and all this series is a programming language you have to learn it from basic and all So they will teach it. They will complete your syllabus, but you also have to study from YouTube or somewhere so that you can learn this language. 
so i will say this another english and arithmetic they are not as difficult as i will say math subject add and modern physics and digital logic then these are some difficult subjects in your first in your second sem so yeah this is about the stuff subjects in your first and second sem now talking about do you really need to buy books see i have three points regarding that why you shouldn't buy books i also purchased calculus book in my first sem and really it was of no use i studied some examples and uh, yeah like you when you will see some 700 page book it's difficult to study it whole and that is also in four or five months semester so it's better not to buy books because they are firstly they are very costly secondly once you come to college the teachers are going to provide you pdfs ebooks of every uh, uh, subject that you need so no need of just going and purchasing these books and thirdly i think so you might not be able to finish, finish the whole book within that four or five months time so it's better not to buy books and in case if you really need book we have library library is there in college go and just uh, issue those books and it will it is going to be helpful at least there are so many books in library which are just lying like this so you can just go access those books from the library then you can study from that you'll get around 14 or 15 days to keep it with you and again you can come and uh, reissue it so this is all about the subjects the difficult subjects and the books do you really need to buy books and yeah, if you need lectures of uh, these subjects like youtube lectures of some people teaching in youtube just write down in comment i will just link those uh, channels in description so that you can study those uh, subjects So yeah that's all from the video we'll meet you some in some other video with some other story thank you for watching the video